least right now. Uh, North Korea appearing to pause its threat to launch ballistic missile toward the U.S. territory of Guam, saying it is going to wait to assess, this is a quote, the foolish and stupid conduct of the U.S. before carrying out the launches, that according to state media. The South Korean president saying Seoul would seek to prevent war by all means. But is Iran the next shoe to drop here? President Rouhani threatening to pull out of the nuclear deal struck under the Obama administration if the U.S. imposes new sanctions. Joining me now, retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano, also serves as the Heritage Vice President of Foreign and Defense Policy. Good to see you. Good to be with you. Um, what do you make of Iran's moves? Well, it certainly shows the foolishness of the Iran deal. The Iranians basically come out and said, hey, we can turn our nuclear program back on in a couple hours. And the, the two promises of the Obama administration meant to us, was said to us, was one is, hey, by getting this deal, we will be able to engage with Iran. They'll be a better regional player in the region. That's proven to be totally fatuous. And the other was, we have cut off their path to a nuclear weapon. And here the Iranians claim we can get back on that path in a couple hours. And so if you think of the billions of dollars that we gave these guys and what we have to show for it, pretty pathetic. Do you think President Rouhani is, is trying to do something else here? Is he maneuvering to execute another plan? What's going on behind the scenes? Well, I think what's going on here is, is the United States is uh, working to make it look like the deal is failing and it's Iran's fault. And what Iran's trying to do is make it look like the deal is failing and it's our fault. All right, uh, let's move on to North Korea. Uh, sh the question is, uh, should the U.S. outright stop the North Korean nuclear plan? And if that's the answer, how do you do that? Or should we just try to contain it? What, what's right. the right path forward? Well, so you start by saying, well, what's our interest? Well, our interests yeah. are twofold. One is that there's not a war in Northeast Asia. Uh, and the second is, is that North Korea can't directly attack the United States, and they're not a, a significant proliferator of these nuclear weapon technology other people. All those goals can be accomplished without either starting World War III uh, or changing the regime. And the answer is, if you can do meet our interests without doing things which are incredibly difficult and have all kinds of unintended consequences, Aren't you going to do the, the thing that you know will work and won't cause you a lot of problems? Yeah, do you so. see regime change at all being a possibility? And uh, James uh, John Bolton said earlier, what if there's a push to reunite the Korean Peninsula? Are those some options that should be explored right now? Well, no, because the Chinese aren't going to tolerate any of that. And the, and the problem is much in the way uh, when the United States went into Iraq, uh, and, 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 we, and we tried to rebuild the country. Part of the reason we couldn't is lots of people tried to jump in and keep us from doing that. Why is the United States not getting engaged in Syria? Because if we got engaged in Syria, there would be lots of people that would be trying to prevent us from doing that. So if, if, if there was no China and it was just the United States and South Korea and Japan, yeah, maybe we could conceptualize a, a way we could do regime change and then go in there and take care of all these poor, miserable, starving millions of people. But yeah. the reality is, is China's never going to let us do that and get away with it because China is more concerned about its ability to control Northeast Asia and what's on its border than it is about the peace and security of, of other countries. A lot at play. Lieutenant Colonel James Carafano, thank you. Have Thanks a good for evening, me. sir. All right, President Trump firing back on all cylinders today. We're going to wrap it all up for you next. When you're close.